In this lecture, you're going to learn how the air we breathe into our lungs is first warmed, moistened and cleaned before it finally makes its way down to the lung, a huge interface between blood and air, and we'll look at the structures whereby gaseous products can be exchanged with the blood. We'll also look at some of the structures that help us to speak and also smell. Well, I hope you take away a lot of knowledge from this lecture. It's important you understand what respiratory epithelium is and what the functions of the conchae in the nasal cavity are. And also we'll have a look at the very specialised epithelium that helps us to smell. The vocal cords in the larynx and the epiglottis are very important structures. And then it's important you understand the structures of all the airways that take the air from our nasal cavity all the way down to the lungs for exchange. And when we look at those airways, it's important that you know the difference between a bronchus, a bronchiole, and then the small bronchioles within the lungs that enable the transport of gaseous products from the air into the bloodstream. Then it's important that you understand the components of the alveolar wall, that interface where this transfer occurs. And there are a number of cells that make up that interface. And then lastly, it's important for you to understand the blood supply to the lung. Well, as I indicated at the start of this lecture, the lung has a number of different structures that perform very important functions. It's important to clean, warm and moisten the air before it passes down into our lungs. It's important to understand gas exchange interfaces. Also, we're going to appreciate that there are a number of different cells in the respiratory system that are receptors, for instance, those that help us to smell. We'll also briefly account for how we can speak by looking at the structures in the lung. And it's important that we look at that and for you to understand how we can produce speech. It's also important to understand that the interface in the lung is a very important surface area. It's a huge surface area. And although I won't go into this in detail, it provides an enormous surface area for both the lining of the lung wall and also the lining of the capillary beds to secrete various messengers in the body and also break down various messages in the body. And lastly, we must appreciate that the lung, all the tubes, the nasal cavity, and all the conduits going down into the lung are actually, actually exterior to the body. And therefore, they can be exposed to the possible infiltration by pathogens, antigens, bacteria. And so we must have the capacity in all those passages to be able to mount an immune response against those antigens that we inhale.